It's a 400 square foot DAF. Uh, it's 400 square foot of surface area um, for flotation area. Uh, basically, these are going to separate um, after the fiber, the bedding fiber is taken out. These are going to take out the, the manure, the nutrients, so to speak, phosphorus, nitrogen uh, part of it. That's where the heavy lifting takes place in the actual nutrient right. extraction. Right. These are these come uh, these come before the presses, which we'll walk around and look at um, to, to to give them the ability to dewater and get cleaner water out faster. Um, as a clarification process. Um, and you can kind of see, this is the DAF. Uh, they got a hopper bottom, a pitch bottom, to take any heavy solids. And typically with dairy, with egg, you do get sand, you get heavy, um, you're gonna get some fiber that comes through. You're gonna get some heavy stuff in these, so they have to be able to, to manage the bottom of them. Yeah. Um, and we'll, we'll take a look at that in a minute here, is how we do that. But, but yeah, as long as we're down on the bottom here, Frank, we can look our solids or our float and the dats are going to get raked over into these troughs. That's a sludge collection trough. And from there they're going to gravity feed into the watering press. From there, the press we're going to get our 24, 25, 26% nutrient cake out of there. And the water, uh, the, the pressate water from these uh, returns back to the, um, the, the tower feed tank, the flush tank. Pretty clean water, pretty clean stuff coming out of these. Yeah. Um, once the stuff's pressed out. And again, I mean, you can see it from the picture. It's a pretty big piece of equipment. Uh, when I look at the, uh, the motor and gearbox there, it's powered by, by what? Yep, that's a three quarter horse motor uh, with a worm gear drive. Uh, that powers the, the rake system on top. So pretty low horsepower consumption. Um, and we're gonna we're gonna run them at a at a pretty low speed to help dewater the stuff as it goes into the sludge trough. We'll try to keep as much water out of there as possible. Um, doing that gives the presses more capacity, um, uh, solid capacity throughput. Um, this is the the opposite side of the tank we we're just looking at. This has the air solution system on it, which creates the micro bubbles to float the. The stuff in the tank. Integral part of the whole system, isn't it? This is the whole thing. Yeah, the rest is a is a tank to skim the top. This kind of does the does the work. Um, yeah. Basically, as we walk down the side, we have a we have a back pressure valve. Um, we're gonna run we're gonna run this solution uh, kind of a traditional DAP air solution system um, based on pressure and, and velocity. Um, so that that's adjustable to kind of make the whole system work. It's a kind of a one time thing. We have an isolation valve right here in case we have to do any work on, on this system. This is the mix tube is where we're going to bring the air and the water together in there and we're going to make a dissolved solution. Yeah. Um, once, we, once we release that solution into just the head pressure to tank, the bubble's going to start to grow. That's going to give us our uh, micro bubble to float the, float the stuff to the top. Um, this here in our system is uh, this is a this is a bottom cleaning system, an automatic blowdown valve that's adjusted off a timer. Um, we open that uh, in conjunction with the end. There's a there's a, a drain valve, and we in essence use a water called a water conveyor to keep the bottom clean. Once the bottom of a DAF starts to build up with solids and get higher and higher, you're going to start to uh, get some carryover in your effluent and you're going to start to foal it out. So we want to manage that here on the farm. That's set to kick in about once a day, twice a day? That's, that's uh, yeah, that's something that's, uh, it's, it's different for every okay. situation. Yep. Uh, typically, they'll probably run that two to three times a day on a, maybe about a 10 or 15 second interval is all it takes just to pulse the bottom clean. Yeah. Um, so this, this is the pump, 30 horsepower pump that drives this system that it's, it's a closed system within the tank. It keeps recirculating uh, the water in the tank, so we're not bringing any fresh water in. Uh, so it might be, might be good to point out that the whole, the whole daft tank that was built at your shop, what we're standing on right here, the catwalk, the safety ratings that was all prefabricated. Yes. Uh, arrived about, what was it, two days ago, I think, on the truck. Yep. And we brought in a crane to to lift them in. It was a matter of uh, what 30 minutes, I believe, on both. Didn't take too long, both. right? Yeah. With the, without a roof on the building, it worked out real well. Setting with yeah. a crane. 
Uh, these tanks are probably about 18,000 pounds each um, without the catwalk and stuff. The catwalk is a bolt-on, um, it all comes as a kit, it's a bolt-on uh, accessory, if you will, yeah. uh, just for, for shipping, uh, shipping purposes. So it all cantilevers off the tank, there's really no extra legs or anything to the ground. All right, so what are we looking at here? We're looking at the top. Uh, these are our skimmer paddles, flights as we call them. Uh, these are going to skim the whole top of the tank, the whole surface. Our flow in this tank is coming through uh, from the far end and it's coming toward us. Uh, this is our so the flocculated the solids, they rise to the top with the, with the air bubbles. Yes. And that's where the, the paddles come in and just yep. rake, rake them off basically. We try to keep, yes, we try to keep the, we kind of gauge the solids on the top. We try to keep them to the other end of the tank away from our effluent. Um, typically you'll see about two thirds, um, with these being heavily loaded, about two thirds to uh, three quarters of the way uh, from the from the influent end to this end is what we'll really see the heavy solids and then we'll start to clear up, the surface will start to clear up near the backside. Um, and it basically just falls over a, a weird effluent overflow. Yes, um, that's a weird that, that goes the whole width of the tank, falls into just a collection box, and it'll go right out uh, over to the tower flush tank. Very good. Um, as you come up here, you see an orange cable. That is a safety uh, an e stop. If somebody goes overboard somehow, some way, um, this can be pulled and it'll shut it down. Um, we have uh, guards, safety guarding over our bearings. Uh, our bearing caps, these are our tensioners to, to adjust the tension on the chain. One of these on each side. Yep, the chain is, uh, it's, it's poly, plastic chain with stainless steel pins. Uh, very corrosion resistant, uh, holds up very well in this environment. Um, they do wear, um, typically we've seen in this type of environment, well, we've got, we've got units with over, over two years on yet and the wear is not substantial enough to, to look at changing it, but um, it, it works out well. We use it on all our DAF units. Um, unless there's an excess amount of heat in the process, then we'll switch over to a, a stainless steel chain. But the braking strength on this is about 2,600 pounds per, per side. So it's got good strength Yeah. Um, and works well. And it's driving these, uh, these are stainless steel flights with a plastic, um, with a plastic strip on the bottom just to give it a little forgiveness as we rake over the beach. And now we're walking toward the, the inlet end or the solids end of the tank. Um, down inside you'll see our inlet structure where we bring our flow and our recycle in. And then this we call the beach. Um, this is where we're going to rake the, the solids up into the sludge collection trough that we've seen from the bottom. Uh, Using the plastic, we're not going to rake the beach uh, right tight like a squeegee. We leave a little bit of gap for, for dewatering just based on the pressure of the sludge. And we let the water scooch back underneath. Um, and up here is our reset for our safety switch. That's our inlet pipe. Uh, right here is where we're bringing our raw flow in. And coming from the other side is our uh, recycle with our air mix, our air solution mix. Those two meet inside this mixing chamber. Um, we, connect the, we connect the fine bubble to the sludge. And as you can see, everything is flanged for taking apart for cleaning. Yeah. Uh, typically in, the, in these applications, there's always, uh, you're, you always get a, a buildup of uh, struvite or other stuff that you know occasionally every few years would need to be taken apart possibly. 